This is Inside the Eye with the Fetch. In today's show, we shall demonstrate a philosophical inquiry into the letters in order to determine just who has been naughty and who has been nice. On this, the holiday edition of Inside the Eye, a season's greeting to all, and a welcome again to Inside the Eye. This is Inside the Eye, the podcast companion to the Illuminatus Observer. The winter solstice represents a magical time of year. On December 22, the sun is said to die and three days later be born again. When viewed against a letter... The solstice is recognized as the letter T, and its composite symbol that of the Egyptian Ankh, which, comprised as it is of the vulva and the letter T, represents the birth of the sun into the material realms. But there is much more hidden into the myths that surround this magical holiday. Santa Claus forms the anagram of Satan's Claus and, named as it is for Old Saint Nick, returns us further still to alchemy and the metal nickel, which was oft associated with Lucifer. And yet nickel, as a compound, is corrosion-resistant and hence cannot be Lucifer as Typhon or Seth, for Typhon or Seth represent all that corrodes. Further, the nickel returns us to the American five-cent piece and five, being as it is associated with the letter E, which is Ma'at and Horus equally, with Horus often being interlinked to Osiris, well, it becomes difficult for the casual observer to know just who really is the naughty god and who is nice. And of Santa's sleigh ride, we return to the upper north to learn that a sleigh ride was symbolic of a drug-induced shamanic trip into the astral world, while Santa, dressed in red, evoked imagery of Typhon, symbolic of iron which corrodes and turns red as the rust in the oxygen-rich air. And then there are the songs, Noel, Noel, cute, clever, actually ingenious. Here is where you may begin your philosophical inquiry into the letters. Manley P. Hall writes thus, The result was the appearance of cryptic systems of writing designed to conceal the presence of both the message and the cryptogram. Having thus devised a method of transmitting their secrets to posterity, the Illuminati encouraged the circulation of certain documents specially prepared through incorporating into them ciphers containing the deepest mysticism and philosophy. Thus, medieval philosophers disseminated their theories throughout Europe without evoking suspicion, since volumes containing these cryptograms could be subjected to the closest of scrutiny without revealing the presence of the hidden message. And what better way, then, to encode the system than into the very hymnals that would become the Christian Church, itself dedicated to the eradication of all prior knowledge of the pagan system upon which its teachings were based? The alphabet, as a representation of the God, was diametrically opposed to the ignorances proffered by the early church, a sessionist-based system wholly dedicated to the perpetuation of Jews as the chosen face of God, with pagans being diminished to that of primitive heathens to be stamped out with little thought to the destruction of the then-current state of humanity. It was these early 
pagan societies that would give rise to the secret societies. And it was the secret societies, combined with the priestcrafts of the dying pagan West, who would imprint their stamp on the Christian church, preserving their primary keys even as their way of life was to be submerged under the Jewish fabricated lie. It was the Jewish worship of El opposed to the pagan worship of El, wherein El to the pagans was the twelfth card of the major arcanum of the tarot deck, Odin, the one-eyed god, the Teutonic rendition of the Egyptian Osiris, opposed to the ignorance of the Jewish god El, who taught that extermination of all who did not bow down to the one god, whatever that was supposed to mean, was the way to human peace. It was the Prince of Peace as Osiris Jesus, opposed to the god of war, Jehovah Typhon Seth as the warrior god El. Noel taught a dual message, Noel as in to know and understand that the winter solstice was based on the birth of Osiris, opposed to Noel, or a rejection of the destruction being wrought by the Sessionist Christian power structure. When I come back, we will peer into the letters and demonstrate how the letters help to elucidate these deeper philosophical truths.